we will be looking at an interesting comparison between the raw material the law of one teachings which is basically knowledge that was channeled by an alien entity and a higher dimension consciousness and the teachings of the ancient upanishads and advaita vedanta we will look at how these two very different teachings coming from two very different sources actually are pointing us towards that same reality and we will understand both of these teachings in depth first let us look at raw material the law of one also known as the raw material is a series of books that were channeled by ll research a group consisting of don elkins and others during the early 1980s the information communicated was claimed to be from an advanced extraterrestrial entity named raw so the raw material is basically the knowledge that was passed on from an alien entity named raw to human beings to help us understand this reality and to help us evolve faster so this was actually channeled by different individuals and it was documented and the books were published this is a teaching which is coming from a higher dimension being named ra advaita vedanta on the other hand comes from the tradition of hinduism so these upanishads are more than 10000 years old and they explain to us the nature of reality the nature of self who god is and what this universe actually is and let us now understand the commonalities between these two different teachings and different philosophies the commonality number 1 is very important the law of one tells us that the reality is in fact one there is unity in everything and although we feel division and we feel that we are apart from this universe and apart from each other what the teachings from this higher dimensional being tells us is that the underlying reality of all this separation is actually oneness unity is the actual reality of this existence and this separation is simply a perceived illusion this is the teaching of the raw material now if we come to the teachings of advaita vedanta the teachings of non duality or advaita vedanta tells us that this universe has come from one source and all of us are one at the deepest level and this separation is simply because of maya and it is simply an illusion so both of these teachings talk about the unity that exists within this existence and they tell us that this entire existence is actually one but only our perception from the perspective of our mind will make us feel that we are separate from this universe and we are separate from each other now let us look at the second commonality which is the veil of illusion the teachings of the raw material explain this existence as different dimensions and as different densities so these teachings tell us that the existence exists in seven different densities and human beings right now the way we are are at the third density and we are third density beings and they also tell us that during the third density experience there is something called as the veil of illusion which makes us believe that there is no oneness in this existence and we feel ourselves to be separate from the universe and from the source this is what happens to the third density beings because of the veil of illusion now in advaita vedanta almost similar terminology is used maya is said to be the veil of illusion maya is simply a thin veil of ignorance and illusion that separates us from source which makes us believe that we are separate from this universe and this existence and we are separate from each other so this perceived separation and division is simply an illusion this is what is explained by both of these teachings with that let us look at the third commonality 
that is the path to enlightenment enlightenment is simply the realization of the inherent oneness in everything enlightenment simply is the dissolution of the individual ego and the realization of one self to be the universal consciousness both of these teachings point towards this the raw material suggests that by serving others by helping others and through contemplation and meditation one can realize the true nature of reality and one can realize who one truly is similarly advaita vedanta talks about shravana manana and nididhyasana which is listening to and understanding the nature of reality and through repeated listening and contemplation making this a firm understanding within oneself and later on starting to live this knowledge and through all this vedanta explains to us that we can pierce the veil of illusion and understand reality for what it actually is this is the path suggested by advaita vedanta for enlightenment and even the raw material talks about this in a similar way so this is the third commonality now let's come to the final commonality or the common element between the raw material and advaita vedanta so the fourth commonality is morality and service the raw material suggests that one can choose one of two paths one is service of others second is service of the self even though advaita vedanta directly does not talk about service the teaching of advaita vedanta is the basis for morality now why should we do good to others why should we be kind to our friends and neighbors it is because the underlying reality within each of us is same we all come from the same source and we are in fact that same source only the masks are different only the faces are different it is that pure consciousness alone which is experiencing this reality through different individuals in different ways this is the underlying truth that we can understand by the teachings of advaita vedanta and similar understanding can be had by studying the teachings of the raw material now why do i find this fascinating why is it so interesting for me to compare these two teachings and philosophies it is because that these two teachings are coming from two very different places one is coming from an ancient tradition of sanatana dharma of the upanishads of vedanta and another teaching is coming from an alien entity which is a higher dimension consciousness which was channeled by certain individuals in the west and these two teachings are separated by time by space and by culture so these two philosophies or teachings are coming from very far places very different places yet they are pointing towards the same reality and not just this if you look at the teachings of buddhism if you look at the teachings of jesus christ when he said the kingdom of god is within you and seek the kingdom of god and everything else will be added unto you and when the buddhist teachings talk about anatma there is no mind there is no body there is no individual identity so all these teachings and all these philosophies are pointing towards the same reality but because that reality is so far from our intellect and it is so beyond our mind and beyond language different cultures and different teachings use different terminologies to understand that reality now if you ask me personally i think advaita vedanta and the teachings of non duality as explained by the ancient upanishads is much more useful to us to come out of our suffering and to realize the reality for what it is because the path to enlightenment is clearly shown in vedantic teachings what we need to do how we need to conduct ourselves what we should not do and how one needs to meditate upon these teachings everything is elaborately explained so the main intention of the upanishads and vedanta is to take one from ignorance towards enlightenment so my focus and 
the purpose of this channel was to spread the knowledge of advaita vedanta and to introduce one to the teachings of advaita vedanta hello there if you wish to understand the true nature of reality and learn about consciousness conscious creation and the teachings of the ancient vedanta in order to live your life with purpose achieve fulfillment and consciously create a life that you truly want to live then you can join our community come learning platform the advaita conscious society for more information visit advaita.com thank you